Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So as the name says it, I'll be doing this eye makeup look using my Carly Bible palette, which has the eyeshadows and highlighter. And it looks like this, which is really, really good for me because I tend to go for these tens, uh, types of colors. It's really nice packaging, easy to carry around with you. It has an amazing large mirror, a nice protection like a shield so that your shadows don't go onto the mirror so I've kept mine on you can take it off if that's easier for you but it has all these like nice purpley brownie shades and these ones here are really really pigmented these are the highlighting shades if I just swatch a couple of them for you This one is the matte one but see how nice and pigmented they are and I mean I've been using mine for ages and it's still going so really pigmented last ages what more can you ask for so if you guys want to see how I created this look using this palette keep watching and don't forget to thumbs up if you like this video and also subscribe to my channel too Okay, so I've just moisturized my face and I'm using the Pixi Lip Balm in Sheer Butter just to moisturize my lips. Then as always, I'm moving on to my eyes first and I'm priming them first with the NYX Eye Primer. And then just to neutralize my eyelids, I'm taking the MAC Paint Pot in Lane Low and using my Morphe E8 brush for this. Just a small amount on the eyelids. And then just to set that, I'm taking my Kick-Ass Setting Powder, which I'm almost out of. I'm just going to hold the palette upside down purely because the mirror will probably reflect the light and it's not going to be pleasant. So the first shade I'm taking is this one here which is the mid-tone on the top part when you actually first open the palette. These don't have any names on them so I'm just going to point at the colours that, uh, that I'll be using. I'm just applying that into the crease. Then using my MAC 221 brush, I'm taking this dark aubergine purple colour which will be on the other end of the palette when you first open it and I'm just applying that on the outer corners of my eyes. And then I'm taking this shade here, which is next to the dark purple colour on the same fluffy brush that I initially used. And I'm just going to work that into my crease again. And this is just to help blend out the harsh lines from the darker purple colour that I used. And then taking this matte colour here. I am just applying a tiny bit to my brow bone and then just to add a bit of shine I'm just taking the next shade to that for the main mid parts of my eyes I'm actually taking the highlight shade which is this one here and these guys be really careful because they are very very pigmented I'm just taking my MAC 242 brush literally just dabbed it twice with a bit of product there I am actually just going to flake off some of the excess and apply it to the insides you can always build on top if needs be
Going back with this dark purple colour, I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the colour to the outer corner. For my top eyeliner, I'm taking the Maybelline Black Gel Liner and using my Morphe E38 brush. Prime my face, I'm taking the In Transit Camera Close-Up uh, Primer. This is a mask, moisturiser and primer all in one and it's by This Works. <music> then for my under eye area to try and combat the dark circles, I'm taking the Inamasca Cream Pigment in the shade Emerge. And then going over the top of that with my Naked Skin Complete Coverage Concealer by Urban Decay. And I'm just going to set the under eye area only with my um, kick-ass setting powder. For my foundation, I'm taking the Born This Way foundation by Too Faced and this is in the shade Golden. I'm just dotting it around my face first of all. and then using my Nanchi um, buffing brush, just buffing all that out. literally just one pump of the Too Faced foundation. I actually squirted two but I didn't even need half of it so it's equivalent to about one pump's worth and it's got a really good coverage so I really like that foundation. Just to set that I'm taking my MAC um, Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC44.5. I'm then taking my Kat Von D bronzer in the shade uh, Shady Business 2 and just applying that to the hollows of my cheeks. And then to contour, I'm taking my Sleek Contour Kit in the shade Medium. And then taking the darkest um, highlight shade, I'm taking my large fluff brush, a couple of dabs in there and just going over the contour. For my blush, I'm taking the Lord & Berry blush called Lotus. Highlight, I'm taking the second shade in from the lighter shade. So check that highlight out, guys. It's so pigmented, I literally just did one dab into the colour. Imagine if I did more. For my brows, I'm taking the Goof Proof Eye Pencil by Benefit. And 
And then to set that, I'm taking more brows in medium dark. I'm then going to tight line my eyes with the Urban Decay Perversion Eye Pencil. Then going in with the darker purple shade again, I'm just taking a flat synthetic brush and just working from the outer corner to the inner. Then taking the larger fluffy brush, I'm taking the shade next to it just to help buff out any harsh lines. For the inner corners, I'm taking the shade that I use for my highlight on my cheeks and just using a pencil brush or you can use any small brush that you may have. For my mascara, I'm taking the False Lash Sculpt Mascara by L'Oreal. For my lashes, I'm wearing the Eldora False Lashes in shape number H168 and I'll apply that off camera purely because it's a lot quicker. So I'm back with my lashes on, which I'm loving. And moving on to my lips now, I'm taking the lipstick by Beauty UK and it's in the shade called Snob, which is like a vintage pink mauvey colour. And then I'm just taking a tiny bit of Odyssey by MAC and going over the top. So there you have it guys, my eye makeup using the Carly Bible palette and I can't really say anything bad about it, I love it all. All the colours here are up my alley, the colours that I would generally tend to go for and yeah, really can't say anything bad about it. Thanks for watching guys. If you did like this video, please don't forget to thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook, which is Be Beautiful by Benita. You can tweet me at Beauty by Benita and I'm also on Snapchat, Benita underscore MUA. See you guys in my next video.